Hi friends, this is Jackie Williams and I want to share with you today a very fun, colorful birthday card using the Cake Crazy stamp set which is in the Occasions 2017 um, catalog. It may carry over into the main catalog, we just don't know yet. The thing I love about this set is that you can do lots of layers on this and make it in any colors you want, suitable for younger people, for adults, for girls, for boys, uh, for something more mature or something quite fun and bright and crazy like this one. So let's get started. First, let's do the stamping and the stamping is the main portion of the project. Now I've chosen to use a rainbow array, but of course you can do this in just a couple of colors, like one color and a neutral, red and black, or say crumb cake and one other color. So, but this way I'm going to show you lots and lots of two-step stamping using multiple colors. Now um, I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six, about 10 ink pads. If you don't have all the same colors, you can substitute in what you have or let me know and I'd be happy to source one of those um, ink pads for you or order one for you. So let's get started. First, we're gonna start out doing the bottom, um, bottom layer of the cake and we're gonna use two ink pads. We'll use Rich Razzleberry and Perfect Plum. So there'll be a lot of opening and closing of ink pads during this project. And I'm going to do the dotty stamp first. And I'm going to stamp that right, right down to the bottom, about in the middle. This cake will probably end up being a little bit skew if, but I think that adds to the look. Now the second, uh, I think this is called, ah, it went out of my head, but the little diamond pattern. Um, also in Rich Razzleberry, but I'm going to stamp it off on a piece of scrap paper and then line that up and just take your time to get that lined up correctly. Um, there, about like that, I think. In between the dots. Okay, close that. And then we'll go ahead with the Perfect Plum and the second, I think it's called Marquee. The second one, the second um, little diamond pattern, and again, take your time and just get that lined up perfectly. Now I am using a stamping mat underneath me to get the very best impression. When using the photopolymer, I highly recommend that you use this stamp mat underneath you. Okay, now our second layer, we're going to use Pacific Point, and we've got two layers to this layer, so we're gonna stamp off with one. The first, so you can choose to put it so the two tall sides are together so that your cake sort of starts going off to a lean. I'm going to rotate it so that it goes a little more straight up, but um, whatever, whatever suits you. So that's Pacific Point full strength. And then I'll ink up the second one and stamp that off and then again just take your time and get that lined up and stamp in between to give you the detail there. Okay now I'm going to clean those off because we're going to do that same layer again in the green but before we do I've chosen to use a blue green the Bermuda Bay so kind of in between the two colors and I'm just going to do a row of stars. Now the reason why I'm doing this extra row is because I've got two layers that are identical. So I thought this would just visually break them up a little bit. Okay, so we're using now Old Olive and Pear Pizzazz. And this time I'll rotate the cake layer so the tall end is on the left side. But again, if you, if you want yours going off to a lean, then do it however you like and then Pear Pizzazz, which is the lighter version of Old Olive. Let's see, yeah, about like that. Okay, love how those turn out. All right, then next we're going to use Crushed Curry. This is my personal yellow of choice. And I'm going to do a layer of just a little 
bow. It's hard for me to see with the camera right here. Okay. I like that yellow because it's a little bit of an orange yellow and it's quite vivid. Then our next layer, we're going to use pumpkin pie and crushed curry together. So this one looks a bit like cheese, but I like it. Okay. And then to do the fill for this one, so to fill in the dots, I'll use crushed curry. So I need to put that kind of more directly under me so I can see that the dots are in the right place. Okay. And then our last cake layer, I'm going to use real red. You can see that even though I've somewhat straightened them up as we went along, we're still off to a lean, but I personally quite like that that fun look okay and then the top layer is real red okay then let's do some candles so I'll use basic black for this and some candles on top of our cake oh we're just gonna make it for space and then our little candle flames I'll go back to my crushed curry and put those on and you could throw a little Wink of Stella or something on those. That would be quite cute. And then let's do some words. So the It's Your Birthday words, you would just place that wherever there's sort of a gap, you know, however your cake turns up. So I'm going to put mine here. Okay. And then let's go ahead and do our uh, assemble our cards. So what I've done here is folded real red in half and then I have used two strips of the designer series paper stack the neutrals or any black and white paper that you have and just done two strips along the side and then done a basic black mat in the middle I can get rid of that now and then we'll just go ahead and adhere our stamped piece onto the basic black mat like so. Okay, we need to add some twine. I'm loving this basic black twine. And your a good rule of thumb is three times the length of the card, and that gives you about the right amount. And tie that around. You can, you've got enough, you might need to tie a tiny, I mean, cut a tiny bit more if you want to do a bow, but there is a fair bit here. I, I just like the to have it dangling down like so there up to the top okay and then let's put on some sequins now we have the neutrals sequins which has got stars and circles and hearts so any of those would work um, I also have this little pack from a pro the project life one of the project life packs that has some black sequins so I'm going to use some of those so I'm going to put my fine tip glue pen. It's easiest to just put the glue where you want the sequins and then drop the sequins down into it. That saves getting glue all over your fingers, hopefully. And you always wanna put your sequins on in groups of three or groups of five or, or more than that. Okay, and then inside the card, I went ahead and stamped. Hope you have a fantastic birthday and some and some more candles. We were, we've used virtually every stamp in this entire set. And then I just threw a little cake on the envelope as well. Now I am offering for April 2017 this project as a kit. So please visit my website www.stamphappy.co.nz or nz for um, details and pricing on that. I hope that you give this a try and I'd love to see a picture. Thanks for watching.